Hi, hello, welcome to Knowledge Center. I hope you are all doing good and let us begin with the new concept in this session. So today what I am going to do is, I am going to solve one of the question which is related to the programming of microcontroller. So I have taken up a question paper from the year January 2020, you can observe here. So in this question paper, let us take one question and try to solve that uh, using a software. So I will write a program using the software and execute it. Okay. So let us look into the question third. Uh, in this, let us have some simple question that is third B. Have, have a look at this. Write a program to multiply 35 by 10 using repeated addition. So you need to write a program to multiply 35 by 10 but not using multiplication instruction you have to use repeated addition concept and save the result in R6 and one more important thing here is neglect the carry so this is important you have to neglect the carry so let's see how to write a program for this so for this what I do let me go to the software which we are going to use ok so this is a software write software wherein we are going to write a program so here you will understand how to utilize this software, how to write a program here and also you will learn how to think and write a programmer. So the question is simple, just multiply 35 with a 10 but without using multiplication you have to use the repeated addition. So the concept is simple, 35 into 10 will be equal to adding of 35 for 10 times. Okay. So multiplication is nothing but it is a addition of same number for that much number of times ok so for that uh, first what you need to do is you have to uh, think a logic about that before thinking into that let me tell you how to use this software how to write a program here so first thing is to go to project and select new project here so when we click on that new project so let me click it again ah, you get it this so here let us not change this project name let it be same as it is my project and you have to select target file so here we have two options so 80c51 is what the target we are using so select next after that again you select that ic80c51 this is p p stands for philips and terminate the con process then press ok for this so here you will get the window this in window will enable now you can see this hold on this window will get enabled ah, here we got it the project is mentioned here my project is the project which we have selected now go to file and select that new file so let me go to file now ok so let me go to file new select new option in this we have C files assembler files and lot of other files we are writing assembly language so let us open the assembler file so again we get a window here wherein you need to write a program so now let me tell you the logic before writing the program you have to look into the logic so as question says that uh, let me open the question here so question says that multiply 35 by 10 using repeated addition so 35 plus 35 plus 35 you need to do it for 10 times so that the result will be 350 but actually what happens here when we multiply 35 by 10 see what will be the result is 350 this is in decimal but we all know that microcontroller will be dealing with the hexadecimal numbers so let's see the result in hexa you, you can see the result in hexa here decimal in decimal it is 350 in octal it is 536 in binary it is how it has been mentioned whereas in hexa the result will be 15e so the answer what you are going to get here is 15e but b cautious about this <coughs> because microcontroller is an 8 bit processor so it can store only 5 e in that one cannot be displayed so when we get the result the result will be 5 e but one will be more than 8 bit which cannot be stored in any of the registers because it is an 8 bit register it is an 8 bit processor ok so now let's see how to get this answer in a microcontroller so the result must be 1 5 e in hexadecimal that you need to know before writing a program and now you have to make a decision how to write the very first line is to find the uh, set the origin that is org and its address let me start it from 0000, 000. 
h the very first thing here is we need to just uh, take the count 10 into some register what because what i am doing here is i will take that 35 into accumulator and repeatedly add it for 10 times okay so if you want to repeatedly add it for 10 times it means i i will put that add instruction in a loop for 10 times so first assign the 10 for one register so for that what i do move r2 comma hash 10 and here one thing you need to observe i am not writing 10 h i am not writing 10 h and if i write just 10 it is nothing but it's a decimal so it will decimal it will take 10 in hexadecimal if you want to write it has to be 0 a h if you write 10 h then it is going to be in decimal it is going to be 16 so be careful about that if you want to write h then what you need to do here is you have to write 0 a h you should write it in hexa so let us not get confused let me write it in decimal only 10 don't write h here okay so after assigning the number to r2 now let us add use that add instruction and uh, take accumulator comma hash 35 h means not h we are to use the decimal number so let me take 35 as it is so what's happening here 35 is given to accumulator okay 35 is given to accumulator and it is added it's not given it is added 35 is added with accumulator so accumulator initially by default it will be 0 so 0 plus 35 that is what is going to happen and repeat this for 10 times so to repeat this what instruction we can use we can use d j n z decrement and jump if not 0 so which register should be decremented r2 because r2 is assigned as a count here so let me decrement that r2 if it is not 0 jump back so where should i jump now I should repeat this add instruction so I should jump back to this line so I will jump back so let me take that label as back and that label you have to mention here because that is what the line which you need to execute for 10 times so once you write that label it should be ended with the colon so it will decrement R2 if this is not 0 it will go back here so it means that we are executing this add a comma hash 35 for 10 times so we are adding the 35 same number for 10 times so the result will be 350 in decimal 15e in hexadecimal and that result will be stored in accumulator because whenever you uh, execute any logical or arithmetical instruction the result will be stored in accumulator only and in question it they have mentioned it clearly that you have to neglect the carry let me go back to that you have to neglect the carry and save the result in r6 so you have to save that answer in r6 but here answer is in accumulator so let me move that to r6 move r6 comma a and then let us stop the program so to stop the program we have to write some label short jump and same label which will create a loop over there and end this is how the program has to be written by thinking the concept now let's see how it will be executed and what will be the result first after writing this program we'll go to file and save it while saving you can give any number here so i am writing a multiplication program so i'll write it as multiply okay and save done you can see the file name will be mentioned here multiply.a51 so we are not saved it as a a51 but by default it will be taken as an assembler 8051 program after saving it we need to go to project and add this pro file with the project so for that you need to go for add node source so let me go do it again go to project select add node source and it will ask for that file so this is what the file we need to we have saved it so we need to add it with the project now so multiply dot a51 select it and before opening just one thing i want to show it here here we have project and no files are added once i open this see that multiplication file this multiply file has been added to the project so we are just saving that project we are adding that file to project after doing that go to project and check for errors by doing build all so once you do the build all there is no error here if you get any error you will get a red mark here but you got a green tick it indicates that there are no errors in the program so you can go for debug to run so go to debug and select start my project it will ask for the settings let us not change any settings here let us select ok and this will be ready for our execution now so green dots indicate these are the lines which are going to be executed 
and the ORG and the end are the directives, they are not the instructions, so they won't be executed. So that is why the execution will start from the after ORG and it ends before end. Now, so what we need to do, where should be the output has to be observed? Let's see where output has to be seen. So we can see output in accumulator and we are storing result in R6. Everything will be available in main register. So let us just open this main registers. Here we have accumulator, we have R6 and all other registers. You can see the variations now. So let's see one by one. Go to step into, click on this, step into once. So one line will execute and that result you can see it here. See, first what we are doing, we are moving the 10 to R2. So here we have R2, you should get 10 over there. Okay, 10 in a decimal, in hexadecimal, it will always deal in hexadecimal. So we got 0A here. That is nothing but 10. Then add A comma 35. So accumulator is 0. Now I am adding 35 to that. So our answer should be 35. But you got 23, that is again as I told you that. It is an hexadecimal concept. Okay. Then DJ and then erase this means delete. Sorry, decrement this R2. So R2 will become 9. And it's not 0, so it will go back here. And it will again add that 35 with the previous result. So it will be go on adding it. So let me repeat this. So if I go on repeating this, executing this one by one, what's happening here? It will repeat the same add instruction unless that R2 becomes 0. Now R2 is 1. See, again R2 becomes 0 and after that what happens this R move R6 comma A means the result was stored in R6. What is the result? Accumulator is 5E. The same result will be in R6 5E. So we have stored that answer in 5 R6 and we stop the program. So let us go back to the calculation part. Here I told you that actual result is 15E. But what I got in the answer is only 5E. Actually we got 1 also but that cannot be stored in the accumulator because accumulator is 8 bit okay so this is this program is sufficient for the question which they have asked in the exam because it is asked for only 5 marks and they also mentioned that neglect the carry so what we actually consider we consider this one as a carry so we are neglecting that okay so if you are neglecting that because they mentioned in question that neglect the carry so according to that this answer is correct whatever one you got here that is a carry okay so that carry we are neglected so the result rest of the result is 5e and that 5e we have here that same 5e we got it in r6 also so we got the answer right so this is how you have to think and write a program if in the question if they are not mentioned that neglect carry then you should consider that carry into the picture into the program okay so i will take another example for that in next video so if you understood the concept and if you like these kind of uh, educational videos, please press that link button, oh, sorry, like button and also don't forget to comment about this video here. And if you want to have uh, more videos on this microcontroller subject, join my channel because I am going to upload all these kind of, video, kind of videos in my, channel, in my channel, but it will be reserved for the members only. So kindly join to my channel to get enabled and to get watched to these videos okay i hope 